Welcome everyone to this raw therapy tutorial. Today we're going to be going over cat pictures in raw therapy. And what I mean by that is we're going to be editing cat photos. I recently became a cat, uh, not a cat person, but my friend has asked me to take care of her cat for a little while. And so I thought we would have a little bit of fun because, you know, nowadays when you take care of people's animals, you have to send them lots of photos in order to tell, uh, in order to show exactly how the animal is doing. So for me, I can't just send a photo. I've got to make sure that it looks pretty good. And so I thought this would be a great time that we could go over cat photos because we've gone over dog photos before. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this one. And this cat is got two different colored eyes, kind of this yellow green eye and this bluish eye. And I really like that. I think that's super cool. So since this is more of a photo for a friend and not necessarily something like for a client, something like that, let's just have fun. Instead of trying to follow the correct rules of photography, let's just enjoy what we have here. When I'm just having fun, generally, I'm gonna go ahead and crop in crazy ways. And by crazy ways, I'm just gonna crop this with a one by one crop. And then, See, let's come over here to our haze removal. I know, we're in indoors, so why do we need haze removal? But I'm gonna go ahead and use this because I really like the way that it pulls out colors and I like the way that, like look at this, in the background, look at this wall in the background. If I go ahead and turn that on, it actually brings us into a darker hue of the blue that's there, which is actually a more accurate representation. And it gives a lot of really good contrast. So I can actually turn on the depth map here and if I go ahead and pull this back and kind of dial this in I want to go until I kind of see everything that I find important which is the eyes and the wall and background and then in this side of the face and then the strength we can of course dial that back and increase that here turn that off turn it on let's do a little bit more oh you know what I will not be super crazy and go ahead and apply a lens correction just to fix some of that. This was taken at 18 millimeters, I think. Yeah, super wide. So sometimes that lens distortion can really be troublesome. So I actually like what we've got here so far. Now, um, now after doing all of that, I'm going to Come in here to my tones, my tone curve, and let's go ahead and increase this. Get some brightness. Don't want to blow out these highlights in the face too much. To there we go. Something like that. Something really contrasty really pull out the difference between the cat and then the background and then pull out uh, the, the color of those eyes. Let me increase the brightness just a little bit, or the lightness, sorry. And let's add in some saturation. Let's go ahead and just stick the saturation at a 20. And then let's zoom into one to one. And uh, Let's go ahead and turn on the sharpening. Just leave that where it's at. And then just for fun, I'm gonna use contrast by details. So you can go ahead and come here and just, you can go ahead and deal with all five of these sliders, but I like to just go ahead and hit the plus button. Let's go ahead and turn that on, there you go. So turn it off, turn it on, off. On. And I don't know if you can see, but look right here. Let me go ahead and turn it off one more time and then turn this back on. It's actually doing a really good job taking away some of the blurriness that's here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. Okay, now that we're here, let's go ahead and turn on some noise reduction as well. And um, let's increase that luminous luminance a little bit. Something like that's pretty good. Let's change this to aggressive. And I think something like 20. Okay. 
Let me come down here to the eyes and see, do we still keep the details? Ah, uh, kind of. All right, next let's head into the vibrance and go ahead and increase that a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but I really like vibrant colors. For me, that's something that uh, really makes a photo pop. It draws my eye. Let's go ahead and turn on the soft light as well. Let me zoom back out to see where we're at so far. That might be a little too much soft light. I'm going to bring it down to 20. Okay, um, let's go ahead and open it up in GIMP. And you know, this, this whole thing is just for fun. It's just to enjoy editing some photos, get a little bit of practice. And my friend gets to see how her cat looks too. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is Control Shift D to duplicate. And then uh, duplicate that bottom layer one more time. This layer, I'm gonna go ahead and just come here to colors and desaturate. Oops, desaturate and desaturate. And now I'm going to come in here to my colors and levels. Let's go ahead and increase some of that. Really add in some contrast. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and bring the opacity on that back to just desaturate. Not fully desaturate, just kind of, um, I'm at 66% here. Next, I'm going to come here and add in a layer mask with black full transparency. And then make sure that white is selected as the color. Hit P on my keyboard. And make sure that the hardness of my brush is zero and the size of my brush is quite large. And then let's go ahead and just paint that back in around these eyes. Now that done, we can come here to colors. Let me just make sure here. Yeah. We can come here to colors and exposure. And let's go ahead and increase the exposure on these eyes a little bit. Okay. And then let's come here to hue and chroma. Let's increase the chroma a little bit. Just really to pull that color out. Okay. Now that I've done that, I can make sure that black is selected and grab my paintbrush again and I can just paint away our, oops, I've got to make sure that I've got my layer mask selected and now I can just paint away around the eye. So now look, this is the eyes before, this is the eyes after. And you know, I might go ahead and kind of um, duplicate this regular layer at the bottom and bring that up to the top here. And then we can bring back the nose and mouth just for a little extra color. You know, I might also bring, oops, I might bring this couch back in too. The only other thing I might do is add in a high pass filter, but uh, with all these little hairs here, that's gonna be really hard to dial in. So instead, I'm just gonna leave this as is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are staying safe out there and I will see you next time.